With this particular video, we're actually going to calculate how much interest we're going to pay on a particular loan. This example has a car loan. And we're not really, I mean, we're going to find out payment and all that, but what we're most concerned with, our answer is going to be the total amount of interest, how much we're going to pay this lender for the right to use their money. Okay, well, in order to do that, what we're going to have to actually do is three different steps. Number one is we're going to have to calculate the payment. Okay, we'll calculate the payment amount. After we calculate the payment amount, we want to know the total amount, uh, principal, interest, everything, all of the payments that we make. Then we can subtract that number from our 15000 That will tell us how much we're going to pay in just interest because the other stuff is all principal that we're paying. So let's focus on the first part first. Let's figure out what the payment's going to be. In order to do that, we're going to use our payment formula. Uh, and this one for, looks like a fairly daunting formula, um, and it is. Uh, but the, fortunately, we can use our calculator, so it won't be so bad. All right, so let's kind of go through each, each aspect here. The P is our starting loan balance, and our starting loan balance in this case is $15,000. So I'll just type that in, $15,000. Uh, the APR is our interest rate. Our interest rate on this one is 5.25. Now we're not going to write that as a percentage, we will actually write that as a, a decimal. So we're going to have to convert that and that'll be our 0 0.0525. That is how we write 5.25% as a decimal. All right, and notice it went in two locations here. Let's back up just a second here. Our APR is actually found up in two, found in two different locations. So I've got that one in. N is our next one, that's the number of payments per year. This is one of the easiest ones because we're always going to do monthly payments, so it'll be 12. And notice that there are three different locations here. And this one is a negative N up here in this exponent. So whenever I do this one and I type in 12, I'm just going to replace all of the 12s. This one stay, stays negative. Finally, we're going to have to do the length of loan in years. And this one's an eight-year car loan. So I'm just going to type in eight here. But notice this is negative 12 times Y. So now we're going to go negative 12 times eight. Okay, well, what we're going to do here is we're going to plug in this right-hand side of this equal sign into the calculator just like you see it there it will give you what the payment amount is. And the payment amount on this one is $191.69. I typically don't recommend that you round this one at all, so if it keeps going, just continue on there. That's going to be your easiest. Well, now that we've done that, we can calculate the total amount we'll pay on this car loan. So the total amount we'll pay on this, we take our monthly payment amount, $191.69, and we're going to multiply that by the number of payments that we make. This is an eight-year car loan. Well, in eight years, remember, we're paying monthly, so that's 12 payments per year. So 12 times eight would give me 96. So we just take this 191.69, multiply that by a total of 96 payments is how many we'd pay total for the car, and that will give us the total amount that we'll pay. The total amount that we'll pay on this car is $18,402. That covers my $15,000 uh, of principal that I paid plus interest. So now to calculate the interest, we take this amount and we're going to subtract 15,000 from this amount because this is our total payments that we make minus 15,000, that's the original amount of the loan, that's the principal that we paid. The rest is all interest. So that will give us a final answer of $3,402 that we paid in interest for this particular car loan. So that's how much we're paying the lender, $3,3400, a little bit over, to um, borrow their money, to borrow that 15,000. This is how the lenders get their money. So anyway, hopefully that helped a little bit on this one.